AI world. This is the a part of the Anito robot vacuum, the one that gets stuck. I went ahead and put it in this drill. This is a good way to hold it. Um, and what I did, so what happens is like it won't spin on this wheel, right? So once it's in here, it was really easy to just pop this tab down, pull this top off, um, and then clean out all the dirt that gets stuck in here. And you'll see some other YouTubes that show you how to do that, right? And um, what they don't show, and this strategy is what I'm gonna try next, we've gotta get something in here that lubricates, but that's also gonna keep other dirt from getting in. And that's where I think this marine grease is gonna do a really good job of that because it, it will add a lot of lubrication to the bearing right here and also uh, keep the dirt from getting in. So we'll see how that works. Um, but the best way to, to fix this design flaw they have in this part before you buy a new brush um, is to take this piece apart and clean it and then lube it up with a silicone-based lubricant like WD-40. So I'll just pop this thing off. Grab just a, uh, yeah, I'll just use my fingers. Typically if I'm like in the shop doing this on um, a marine part or a bicycle, I would use gloves, but here I'm just gonna fill this cavity that was filled with dirt with marine grease, and that grease will take the place of where the dirt would come in. So, just like if um, you take apart vacuums, you've probably done trailer bearings, just like you would on a trailer bearing for a boat. So now we're, we pack the grease into this concavity. We have this one left. Pack some grease in there real quick. I'm just gonna wipe the extra into the container. One container of these will last you like a lifetime of vacuuming your house, I promise. All right, now we can just reassemble it. This tongue goes right there. Clips together real nicely. And then it doesn't spin super easy, but it does spin. You know, you do have a spin there. And uh, again, the whole goal of this uh, modification is to keep dirt from getting in there and blocking this momentum that this is gonna have. So that's it. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess grease with this rag here, clean it up, do a little test. By drilling back, forward and backward. That'll get some of that excess grease out, and then I can clean that up before we put it back in the bath in the vacuum. So we just clean that grease out, and that way it won't go into the vacuum. And that's it. Hope that helps you guys. Bye.